Konnichiwa, one, one. Japanese animal no Misa des. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you Japanese animal sounds. So, one, one is how we say woof woof or bow wow. So that's the sound dogs make in Japanese. One, one. So when I had a dog, uh, I always made this joke. <laughs> uh, my dog can speak English. And my dog's name was Ruchan. So I said Ruchan and she would bark. And <laughs> I tell my friends, ne, ego hanaseru de shou? One, they <laughs> See, she can speak English. Um, she just said one. <laughs> or sometimes I changed the joke and said, Uchi no inu wa kazu ga kazoerareru no. My dog can count numbers, more specifically, just one number. <laughs> and yeah, again, one. <laughs> Such a classic dad joke, I love it. Dajare <laughs> So yeah, I love it. My friends hated it. <laughs> so yeah, one. You know the Disney film Lady and the Trump? It's called Wan Wan Monogatari. Woof woof story in Japanese. How cute is that? <laughs> one one monogatari. How about the sound cats make? So in English you can say meow, right? In Japanese we say nya, or we sometimes also say nyan nyan. So nyan or nya. You know the cat speech. You can put nya at the end of the sentence, then you can sound like a cute anime cat girl. Like kawaii nya, oishi nya. <laughs> Meows in Japanese is called nyasu. Nyasu. I've been watching Pokemon in English a lot, and Meows doesn't say meow. Instead, he has his own speech, right? In English, like instead of twerps, he said twipes. In Japanese, he always says nya. Instead of the na sound, he uses nya sound. So instead of nani, he says nyani. Meows calls himself nya. Instead of like ore watashi, he says nyawa. <laughs> By the way, I'm wearing this Hello Kitty dress. Kitty chan no one piece wo kitemasu. Fun fact Hello Kitty is not a cat. That you didn't know unless you heard me say it in the video. So I'm going to make this into a guess game. So I want you to guess which animal this sound belongs to, okay? Dono doobutsu no. <laughs> now let me put my heart and soul into the sound. Kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
Ratatouille is such an amazing title, by the way. Unfortunately, in Japanese, it's called Remi no Oishi Restaurant. Remi's delicious restaurant, which sounds meh. The dish is called Ratatouille anyway, so we could have done something like Ratatouille or Ratatouchu. You know, like we love pans, the Japanese people love pans, so why didn't we do it? Why didn't we change it to Remi no Oishi Restaurant? Like so lame. Anyway, choo choo is the sound mice, rats make. And also that's how we say smooch, so that's the sound of kissing as well. So it's such a cute way to ask for a kiss, like you say choo, like give me a kiss. Speaking of choo, do you guys know this haichu? It's very chewy, so chew does come from the English word to chew. It's like a chewing gum, but you can swallow. Not many people know this, but haichu uh, stands for high grade chewing gum. High grade na chewing gum. <laughs> so like high quality chewing gum. Uh, the company wanted to make a chewing gum high grade. It has such a high quality that you can, uh, it's safe to swallow. You know, you don't have to spear out. So that's high grade. Nomikondemo <laughs> daijo. The haichu was in this month's box. Yay! Bokuse is a monthly snack box subscription service. The theme is always different every month. And apparently, if you order Bokuse in March, you get a special hanami themed pink box. So usually it's orange, but you get a pink one which looks mega cute. This month's theme is mochi mochi mochi. Mazu, lemon mochi. Mmm. Mmm, shokkan. Mmm. Tsugi, karpisu aji no mochi. Oh, karpisu aru. Chutto matte. Kore ga karpisu. Karpisu wa nihon de ninki na nomimono desu. It's called Kalpiko outside of Japan because the name Karpisu does sound like cow piss. <laughs> right, uh, the first time I saw uh, Kalpiko was in Canada. Um, like I was on my school trip and I saw Kalpiko and I was like, why is it called Kalpiko? And uh, um, someone told me because <laughs> Canadians, well, not just Canadians, but people, English speakers especially, would hear cow piss and they wouldn't want to drink. It's like white drink. <laughs> Is it really piss though? <laughs> anyway, uh, it's amazing drink. But, uh, okay, I may this sound disgusting, but it is actually an amazing drink. Otherwise, I would have not bought it. Mmm! Mmm! Mochi kimochi. Sore o taberu no tanoshimi ni shite mashita. Anyway, I live in Prague now, so I can't really get Japanese snacks easily. I can, but they're much more expensive. I'm always looking forward to receiving my bokkese. And you can also get 10% off uh, using my link and code JapaneseAmo10. The link and the code are both in the description box and the comments. So yeah, do use them and make sure to support them. They're great. All right, let's get back to the lesson. So, tsugi, next. Boo boo. <laughs> boo boo. So, that's the sound pigs make. Boo boo. Buta. Buta is how we say pigs. In English, you say oink, which is, I guess, all right. <laughs> Boo boo will always be my pig sound. <laughs> you know, in English you can say to boo, right? Boo. Uh, in Japanese we call that booing. <laughs> so we took the English word. Uh, but we also have the Japanese word and we say boo boo you, which is a little bit different from to boo. It's kind of similar. Uh, boo boo you means monku o you to complain, to grumble. So you can, for example, say boo boo to me, like, ah, oh, I don't like it, boo. It's kind of similar, like, when I used to complain, my mom would say, buta jana in da kara. 
you are not a pig, are you? <laughs> so stop. <laughs> so it's very interesting. There is a kids show, like anime for kids. I used to love it so much. It's called Chibi Maruko-chan. Really fun. There is a character called Butaro. <laughs> And he has the nose that looks like the pig's nose. The character always says boo boo at the end of the sentence. So, you know, there is a cat speech, nya nya, and there is also a pig speech, boo boo. <laughs> so he says, oishi boo, tomodachi ni naro boo. Tsugi, next. Uki! Or uki ki! Or just ki! <laughs> So this one is the sound of monkeys. Kee! I don't know the cries of monkeys in English. The screech? Let me know in the comments. So, saru is how we say monkey in Japanese. One of the ratties I had was called saru because she used to climb up on my shoulder. She was the cutest thing ever. She was a hairless rat. I, I love hairless animals. I know a lot of people don't like them, but like, I love sphinx cats, like the bald cats. Uh, and also I'm mildly allergic to cats, which is so unfortunate because I love cats. But I think hairless cats would be fine for me. I've, I've watched some documentary about it and some said it's better than hair, haired cats, cats with hairs. Anyway, <laughs> monkeys, saru, right, saru. So we say uki or ki. Uh, it's funny because they like climbing a tree and tree is called ki in Japanese, right? So ki, like tree, they love trees. Uh, but yeah, we say uki or uki ki ki ki. <laughs> okay, what about uho uho? <laughs> uho uho. <laughs> uho uho. So that's the sound the gorillas make. Right, so monkeys, saru wa uki uki to imasu. Gorilla wa uho uho to imasu. <laughs> Tsugi, next. This one should be easy. Meh. Oh, let me put my heart and soul into it again. <laughs> meh. 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 <laughs> my neighbors might think I'm crazy if they can hear me. Hopefully not. <laughs> There are actually two answers. Kotae wa futatsu arimasu. Uh, the first one, yagi, goat, yagi. Okay, so yagi wa ne to imasu. And another one is hitsuji, sheep, hitsuji. But yeah, I think ne also sounds pretty accurate. But lazy people would pronounce it more like ne, ne. <laughs> Uh, me means eyes, by the way. It kind of also sounds like eyes, eyes to us. <laughs> me, me. Uh, some people make this joke uh, when they eat lamb, lamb steaks. Uh, they say, me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, next time you eat lamb uh, in Japan <laughs> and you're with uh, Japanese friends, Try saying that, I think it will make them laugh. <laughs> Ume! <laughs> uh, yeah, so umai is kind of a rough way to say delicious. Like oishi is the standard one. Umai is used by mainly men. Umai. You can also say ume to make it sound more rough, more masculine. Like Luffy from One Piece would say ume! Right? Uh, I'd never say it personally, but Boys say it, meh. But yeah, it can sound rough, so be careful when to use it. Like if you are at a fancy restaurant, maybe ume is not the best word to use. <laughs> so instead of just saying ume, uh, try saying like ume. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the jade so much. Okay, tsugi, next. Mo, mo. <laughs> mo, mo. That's the sound cows make. Mo, mo. So in English you say mu, mu, right? So instead of mu, we say mo, mo, mo. <laughs> mo in Japanese can mean already. For example, mo kuji da. Oh, it's already nine o'clock. But you can also say mo, 
like come on or geez or ah you know when you're frustrated you can say more if someone is annoying you you can say ah more like geez stop it uh, it's very common like when you want to say oh my gosh what should i do you can say ah more do like we add this more like do on its own means like what should i do uh i don't know what to do but more is like oh no there are different degrees of more and like if you say like more it's like uh, you're angry but you can say like ah, more uh, it's like oh come on you can say lovingly right and if someone is being clumsy you can say ah, more choco choy nandakara more o choco choy nandakara so again, Japanese people uh, make this joke, like when we see cows going like, moo, moo, we think they're complaining or they're frustrated, like, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, tsugi, next. Hee hee! Or, I guess I could do more like, <laughs> So that's the sound horses make. So in English you say nay. I think he is much better. <laughs> but you gotta say it like Alright, the next one, uh, I prefer the English version. Gero gero. <laughs> gero gero. So this one is the sound frogs make. In English you say ribbit, ribbit. I think that sounds closer to the actual frog sound yeah we say gero gero <laughs> which is also funny gero is slang for uh vomit <laughs> like you can say gero haku to mean to vomit you can just say haku but you can add this word gero or like if you say <laughs> vomit and the sink or something you say oh gero da <laughs> and so gero gero sounds quite disgusting to me <laughs> It's like vomit, vomit. <laughs> but that's why there is also kero kero, which sounds much cuter. Hello Kitty is a character from Sanrio, and there is a frog character as well from Sanrio, and it's called kero kero keroppi. I loved that character so much when I was a kid. Uh, it's a cute frog character, kero kero keroppi. So cute. Um, so it's like rabbit tea or something. <laughs> Uh, there is this Japanese children's song, Kaeru no Uta, frog song. Uh, it goes like, Kaeru no Uta ga kikoete kuru yo. Kwa, 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 kwa. Gero, 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 kwa, kwa, kwa. Actually, the proper lyrics are apparently. Ke 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 kwa kwa kwa, which is shocking to me. Um, it, it apparently is taught differently depending on the region. My mom is from Kanto, but my dad was from Kansai, so maybe I had both influence. But I was taught that it's gero 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 kwa kwa kwa, and many years later. Uh, I was told that it's actually I'm like, what? No. Okay, tsugi. Ho ho. Again, let me try it harder. Ho ho. Ho ho. Now you should know. It's the sound owls make. Fukuro. Fukuro. Yeah, fukuro is how we say owls. Uh, like fukuro, right? Like bags. <laughs> Alright, the next one. Again, I prefer the English one. Ga ga. Ga ga. This is quack quack. I think quack sounds much better. Uh, that's the sound uh, bags make. Right? So, ahiru. So, ahiru wa ga ga imasu. Again, what about ka ka? Or ka ka. That's the sound crows make. Here's a great joke for you. Japanese crows don't fly, but they drive a car. 
あの日本のカラスは飛びませんカーを運転します<笑> try, try saying this joke to some Japanese people they love it it's genius I think I came up with it or if somebody has then good for them but you know I didn't cheat I'm a pun genius <笑>はい次ガオーガオー<笑> This pun sounds rubbish. <笑>ガオー is the sound、um, bears and lions and tigers make. And there might be more, like some intimidating animals. You know, any animals that roar. So we say ガオー instead of roar. Okay, what about パオーパオー That's the sound elephants make. ゾウゾウパオーン OK, the last one. 最後コンコンコンコン That's the sound foxes make. キツネ is how we say fox. So fox cries.、Uh, if you watch some videos on YouTube,、uh, <laughs> you can find some funny ones. They, they go like <laughs> They sound crazy,、uh, but some of them just sound like dogs, right? But in Japanese, for some reason, everyone says kon kon, kon kon when talking about what、uh, sound foxes would make. By the way, this is fox sign, but also a Pikachu sign. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And also, please teach me some animal sounds in your language. Uh, in the comments, I'm very curious. I know Czech people are very good at imitating animal sounds because they have so many sounds, so it's easier for them. Like Japanese, it's like, wah wah, nya nya, g a o n It doesn't sound like, you know, the actual animals.、Uh, but yeah, so I'm very curious. And also, let me know what your favorite one is. I think my favorite will always be choo choo. Because I love mice, I love rats, and, and also Pikachu, right? That's why it's called Pikachu, by the way, because it's a mouse. And yeah. Oh, 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 the last one, I forgot to teach you this one.、Um, pigeons say popo, 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 popo. Very cute, right? And you know, the Pokemon Pidgey is actually called popo in Japanese. Yeah, that's it for today. And also, make sure to go check out b o k u s and use the link and code Japanese Amo 10. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Mite kurete, arigachu! Ciao, mata ne, bye bye!